precious to lose one person's desires uh, to donate their organs and, and to miss out on that. So what they did is they passed along, created a registry where everybody became organ donors, but they made sure people had the option to take their names off. And since they put that system in effect, they have been leading the world in their rate of organ and dish donations. And some of the other countries that uh, created a, a similar model have experienced the same success. So after I finish this walk, what I'm hoping is the opportunity to present my report. And, and this is with a million, million of Canadians voices behind this, uh, a, a report that will hopefully we can have our governments look at an alternative system, one that can possibly work. And our steps are simple. Uh, if, if this was to be considered, what we would first do is uh, make sure that we did have the overwhelming support of Canadians to create this system. We wouldn't go into this blind. Uh, we would make sure that Canadians from coast to coast were going to support this system. Afterwards, we would be able to create the system. And I, just from my experiences on the road, I can tell you, we wouldn't have too many Canadians that would be taking their names off. And as a result, we can secure that precious decision we can secure that precious decision that it won't be missed. And as a result, we would be able to have more donor families. And there's a benefit to being a donor family. There's a lot of comfort during the grieving process when, when a, a family makes that donation. But when they're deprived of that donation because they couldn't make it at that moment, they don't get, to exp they don't get a second opportunity at that. So we would not only be able to honor the individual's wishes, we would also be able to uh, make sure that more lives were gonna get saved and make sure that we would have more donor families. It's a win-win situation. So what we're urging is, after I finish this, is that I, I have an opportunity to present my report. Uh, I'm, I, I'm actually, it's not confirmed yet, but uh, they're, they got me penciled then in October to, to uh, uh, address the uh, National Council on Organ and Tissue Donation. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, we live in a country where I feel, and I, I'm pretty sure everybody else is gonna feel this, we have the best people in the world. And I've experienced that from coast to coast, from the small towns to the big cities. We have, Canadians are the best people in the world. And you know what? We're not arrogant about it. We don't boast about it, but we do have the best people. So I know that if we had this system in place, we would probably have the highest rate in the world. And that's where we belong. That's where we belong, just like all the rest of the standards that Canadians hold precious. Uh, so on that note, today is a very special day because a young man passed away a few months ago and he was courageously doing his utmost to bring this message to people. And at this point in time, I want to uh, bring up Melody uh, Martin, the mother of uh, Carl Martin. I just want to say thank you very much. Yeah. Um, it is a very important day for everyone, not just for Carl, but for those that have lost the battle in waiting for another organ. Um, they are our angels. They will walk beside us. And I would like, it's been a great honor to meet George and such a wonderful thing that he is doing for everyone. Um, organ donation, it's extremely important. I beg, as my son would have done, to please consider signing your cards. It would help thousands of people survive. And I guess in a way I'm speaking for all, but I'm thinking of the children. They are our future, and to give them second hope would be a wonderful thing. My son received his first transplant in December 10th, 97. He was blessed with four miracle years. he done so much. He brought out a CD to raise money for organ awareness. He spoke to everybody he possibly could, and I just hope that his dream will be fulfilled and just consider signing your cards. Think of our future, our children, as well as people that are people. That's one thing I enjoy about Peterborough. The people are real. They care. They're outgoing. They supported us for four years. 
and it's just been one miracle after another. And today we're presented with another miracle, George coming into our lives and helping us to understand what we need. George, I would like to present you with the money that my son had made selling his CDs, and it's to go to organ donation. This may help the cause, we hope. Well, that's going to wrap things up, and they were right, the rain did hell off, so that's a good thing. Uh, you kids, lunch is over, back to school. Uh, I understand that we do have a CD to wrap things up, though, and so uh, to kind of mingle around, you can stay for a bit uh, while we're playing the CD in the background here, and thanks for coming out. What we wanted to do is uh, have all the uh, kids scream out. Yes. <laughs> We're going to scream out uh, donate their organs and tissues. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys ready? You're going to yell right. for us? We're going to do it at the uh, sound of uh, three. Okay. One, two, three. Donate your organs and tissues! Right on. <laughs> I think uh, uh, the uh, TV person wants us to do a little walk. 